What's up, my people? It's your boy, Juizy. All right, guys. The title of the video is correct. I got a real job. I know. I know. Did I give up with deliveries? I gave up with uh, using it to make more money. I did give up with that. Yeah, yeah. But look, but look, this is what I'm going to tell you right now, because I know I'm probably going to get some comments about it, As, well, especially for people that, that know that I my background is accounting. They're going to say, Joe Easy, why don't you just get an accounting job, getting paid more money? Honestly, it's not that much more money, to, if, I, if I'm going to be very, very honest, probably a few bucks more. So I got a job at the place that I've been telling you that I actually wanted to get a job which is Ikea, getting paid $17.75 an hour. The good thing about Ikea is that you can move up quick. I've seen it before. I've seen it, the last time I was there, I've seen it. There has been two jobs that I've actually liked doing. When I was a teenager working at the movie theater, that job was so fun. It was so fun, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I was getting paid $6.75 an hour working in the weekend. I was, you know, I was a teenager. I was, I think I was, yeah, I was still in school. I worked in there and it was so fun. Everybody I worked with, we, we had a blast. $6.75 an hour. The second job that I liked go, uh, going to, that I liked doing, was the IKEA job. First, because it was a physical job. I would lift weights, weights, not weights, it was, you know, boxes. But also, the, I like how the company, actually cares about the employees even though when i had the interview they said it wasn't the same like that which is actually good because a lot of the workers there that got away with hiding the whole day back you know when i was working there supposedly that doesn't fly anymore so we'll see what happens guys but i know already what i'm getting myself into in this place ikea ikea is a good job is a good company to work for they give you a locker like uh the food there I think you get a big discount, even though I think I might have my own food. I don't know. That's a good question. Should I work? Should I eat the food there or get my own food? I don't know. We'll see. But but it's it's a good place to, to be. And I can move up eventually. The hours is 34 to 40 hours. I don't know if they're going to give me the full 40 hours. They said that they don't give overtime, but they always say that. Like... They always say that, and a lot of times when I was last when I was last there, they they told me to work, like uh, they're like, oh, can you stay? You know, can you stay later or whatever? And I always say yes, uh, because I wanted to make that money, bro. I wanted to make that money, so I'm I'm gonna say yes to every time they say, oh, can you stay late? Yes. So if I could go over 40 hours, I get time and a half, boom. And in all the holidays, you get paid time and a half for working, which that's what I like about that too. And the PTO is great as well. So this is gonna be my plan, guys. I'm gonna be working there. Oh, I, I, I just steered off. I do not, uh, the reason why I mentioned all this is I do not want to go back to an accounting job, guys. Uh, I think a lot of people that say that you just go to your accounting job, you know, you're in the AC and you're in the computer and you're not doing much. I don't think they have, they either, there's two types. They either love what they're doing in the office, so, it's easy for them to say it because they love doing the job. I, I hate accounting, I hate it. 
And the second tier of people is people that have never had an, a, an office job, you know? It, you know, they think that they think that just because which I thought that also just because you're in the AC doesn't mean that you're it's a good job that you're gonna be happy. No, it's sometimes it's, it's miserable, man. Accounting is boring. A lot of times you have to, you know, it's, it's, it's I rather do the the IKEA thing in my jiggy. Do that. Do IKEA, and then continue doing my deliveries. Continue working my 12 hours. So this is gonna be the plan. The YouTube is not dying, guys. I'm not gonna quit YouTube after all, you know, all these years. I think it was like it's been like two years already, just to quit. No, no. The goal is to become a millionaire by doing YouTube, by doing deliveries, the stock market, the Amazon. I, I that's another thing. The Amazon. I have to invest more money. I have to buy. Uh, uh, I have to order uh, five thousand signs. Pretty much, I have to invest some money on that. In this. In this. Uh, in this sign plus something else as well so there's that and i i need more money guys i mean yeah i can make what a thousand dollars but you're working like seven days and it's like no no, no. i'd rather work you know a little bit work the same amount of hours but make 1500 bucks to 2000 instead of 1000 you know what i'm saying like the amount of hours that i'm working i can make another 500 bucks a week at least with a with a job that is guaranteed income plus deliveries plus youtube plus the stock market plus the amazon sales and then what else that's it for now so that's what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do is work continue working between 10 and 12 hours no matter what it is let's say i work from uh, at ikea from 3 p.m to 11. i'm gonna work from 3 to 11 but then i'm gonna work from 11 to Three or 11 to 2 30 and then drive to work 11 to 2 30 get that that little shift do my deliveries and then maybe record one day and if i if i get enough deliveries i'll just do that as one video but if not i'll do two days worth two days worth of 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 deliveries and then do put that into one video or if i have a day off in in a, in ikea i'll just do a whole day doing like a challenge or something to get the the subscribers and the viewers up do that release it but i'm still gonna be releasing videos for the most part i don't think it's gonna be every day but it's gonna be still on an ongoing basis still having to release videos increase the subscribers increase the views increase the income of the youtube income and that's pretty much what i'm gonna do now i have what else am i gonna what else should, what, what was i supposed to tell you i'm gonna tell you other things so i'm working at ikea doing deliveries doing the youtube live i'm trying to i'm trying to think about what you guys might be asking in the comments and then so i could tell you guys right away you know before you guys comment it i know a lot i'm gonna get a lot of people saying that i should just get my accounting job but i already told you why i'm probably i'm probably gonna get a lot of people saying that they make you know they make like three thousand dollars a week just doing instacart so they don't have to get a job which that I am, you know, uh, be blessed. You're, you are blessed to live in a place or have the tools. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. Or have the tools to be able to make the three thousand, two thousand dollars a week, only doing deliveries, only doing Instacart, only doing these apps. But for me, I could make. Oh, uh, okay, okay. This is what I'm gonna tell you. I could make a thousand two hundred to a thousand, uh, like a thousand two hundred dollars. With the strategy that I used last week, which was DoorDash earned by time. I did make 900 and change, like, I ended up making like 930 or 40 bucks last week with DoorDash earned by time and all the other apps with only working five days. I didn't work Monday, Tuesday, but I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, and on Sunday, it was a, it was a great, I'm gonna see if I can try to screenshot it. I had a, a very shocking Instacart day. I was seeing orders that normally are taken by bots I was seeing these orders and I'm like, man, how am I seeing this? Like, I was confused. I'm like, how, how am I seeing these orders? And I wasn't even near the near the store or anything. I wasn't in the circle and I'm like, man, I think that day, that Sunday, I think a lot of, I think the, the bot was down because the last time the bot was down, everything was lit up and I was able to see orders all day, all day, all day. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I asked the next day, a guy that does use a bot, that he, I think he's seen the channel a few times. I was like, hey, 
was the were the bots like down uh, the the other day? He's like, yeah, yeah, it was down. So it is true when the bots are because everyone in the city they use the same the same bot. So if the bot goes down, it's down for everybody in the city. So he said, yeah, it was down the whole day. So that day I was able to see so many orders, and I think that's what happened on Sunday. So that's not that's not common. But with DoorDash, Earn by Time, and all the other apps, I could keep myself working 24/7 no matter what time i'm working that's why and that's and that is why i told you guys that i want to get platinum status because i want to be able to clock in whenever i whenever i'm available to work because i keep the ikea schedule is going to be it's going to change i have open availability so i'm going to be working scattered throughout the week the only the only uh what was positive about it is that i'm not going to be working graveyard shift like i was in target and i know i'm not going to have a boss like I did that that in Target where well, that guy was like, man, oh man, man, it, he was bad. If you guys saw, look, go check out my my Target rant video. It actually has a, a bunch of views. So I, cause a lot of people was able to relate on the Target. It got a lot of views and a lot of comments of people saying, man, I worked at Target and it was the same thing. I had to quit, whatever. So this is not gonna be like that. I know IKEA is good with their people and it's not gonna be graveyard. So I'm not gonna be there like so tired that I'm gonna be sleeping all day and working all night like I was at Target. So I'm gonna be, having a fixed schedule 10 to 12 hours if i work from 3 to 11 i'm gonna be doing deliveries from 11 to 2 30 for example or you know stuff like that so doordash earn by time is a great strategy and i was calculating the miles and i was actually making like let's say it wasn't two dollars a mile it was like a dollar between a dollar and a dollar fifty a mile i think it was a dollar thirty dollar thirty to a dollar 50 a mile or, or something like that i did calculate it so the mileage is not that bad and this is and this is you know driving from when i go to my house to where i'm supposed to be working and then driving back so that's dead miles too that's it that's including dead miles so that strategy is great i know a lot of people are gonna disagree and say oh uh it's a scam and it doesn't work but it works for me right now i'm at 70 percent acceptance rating on doordash i'm gonna continue doing earn by time until I get myself to like 80, 85, 90%. And then after that, I'm gonna do earn by offer like during dinner shift and see if I can get some bangers. And also maybe during lunch shift or 11 o'clock, see if I can get maybe a catering order, a catering order. I haven't, I've gotten like two catering orders. So I got a $60 catering order one time on from Chipotle when I was platinum. And it was like, oh my goodness, I was so surprised. But that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have platinum status be able to log in whenever I want. Oh, just so you guys know, I, you could dash now whenever you want. So it was the video that I did, it was a little bit misleading because I could dash whenever I want. I'm platinum right now and I could dash whenever. So if you're platinum, you could dash whenever you want. It says, the email said something else, but you could. Okay, now with that being said, I think that's it guys. That's all I have to say. I'm, I will still keep doing the videos guys, but my goal is to make minimum a week between deliveries i'm not counting investments and like the stock market including deliveries and you know what yeah deliveries i'm not going to include youtube deliveries and ikea between deliveries and ikea i want to make at least 1500 dollars, and then the youtube income is going to be extra and the stock market going up will be a little bit extra as well the stock market has been doing good I know the recession may be coming this time. I didn't believe it all these years. People say, oh, recession this, recession that for four years. And I'm like, there's no recession. Look at all these prices going up. And everyone continues to spend money. So it's, the money's still there. It seems like recession may be going down. I mean, it may be happening. Maybe car prices, used car prices are going down. Teslas are going down. If you guys look at any used dealership or website, used Teslas are going down. Brand new Teslas it did not go down but they are offering like a very low apr so if it's it's more it is more affordable now than ever to get a tesla in case you guys want to get a tesla so with that being said that is pretty much it guys if you made it to the end of this journey though my love please thank you for watching and i cannot wait i'm looking forward to this journey i have an appointment at 12 40 to do a drug test i got the offer i got the call with the offer on friday and on thursday and then i try to walk in to do a drug test on friday and they couldn't take me and i had to get the next available appointment and so i waited all week and then today is the day i can do the drug test 
and then that is pretty much it guys tomorrow i have another appointment and i'll tell you guys about that in the next video so stay tuned for that but um but yeah guys i'm excited man i mean okay yo, let me end this here am i giving up on the deliveries like is it is it a lose lose guys look okay 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 i'm gonna end it with this i want it look these deliveries it was supposed to be good money and it was good money for a long time and i quit uh the ikea and i quit my well i could have quit a lot before i quit the my last job which was the hotel i worked at a hotel in the beach i quit that job because i was making good money doing instacart only instacart uber east was just an add-on i did not foresee that people were going to start using five accounts each and then the bots i think the bots had already existed so that was never going to change but as 2020 kept going like 2020 you know 2021 was happening 2020 2020 2021 2022 the business just kept booming and booming and booming and booming it just kept blowing up more and more instacart just went public uber finally made a profit so business was booming so where there's money there's gonna be scammers and there's gonna be a cartel if you could believe it i did not foresee that there was gonna be an uh uh like a delivery version of a cartel people selling rented accounts and then just getting these with bots people having two to three accounts i did not foresee that happening i didn't see it and the apps allow it to happen like and I, i've been thinking like i'm a developer like you know i'm a wannabe developer but i'm thinking how do how do you get how do these apps revert i mean how do they reverse engineer the app to start using instacart's api pretty much you know getting into their database to get the orders that are like the best orders without instacart and these apps not not realizing not like noticing oh, oh man i see like a third party app you know you know getting you know getting requests because you basically how programming works you get a request you know you 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 get a request to whatever database and then you know they you know you get a response back but that response means that they're allowing it instacart and all these apps so it's like how is instacart just allowing these apps to to have access to this api is is what i'm trying to say and instacart saying oh no it, it doesn't happen or they're saying like how do you how how they how come they have not stopped it i guess is what i'm trying to say i don't know man another thing the rented accounts the rented accounts i'm sure a lot of people are getting surprised i did read a few articles people getting surprised w2s from or 1099s from doordash and all these apps and they've never done doordash or instacart and then they'll probably call the irs like hey irs i've never done doordash before i've never done instacart and they the article said that they said don't worry about it don't pay it so i'm, I'm sure this is happening nationwide and the irs is realizing hey, hey what's going on here and the apps are still now they're doing something like walmart spark is doing something i just saw on reddit and I think someone told me that they have Amazon Flex, that they're gonna start checking IDs and Amazon Flex to prevent all this stuff happening. Uh, people getting two to three or four accounts on Amazon Flex, that's happening. But why did it take so long for people to, to start reacting, I guess? I know the answer to that, guys. I know the answer to that. They need as many people as possible to suppress the pay. And I told you guys this, to suppress the pay, so now I'm I'm assuming the government told them something. I don't know. I'm they're like behind closed doors. The government told Instacart and all these apps, hey, I keep getting all these uh these these fraud, these you know, identity theft, you know, cases. Like you guys better start cracking down, I think. I think that's what's happening. I'm not sure. But I didn't expect this when I started doing this full time. And I gave it a few years and I'm like, you know what? Let me just let me just get a job but not an account i don't want to go back to accounting guys please don't make me please i'd rather just work at ikea do my deliveries and then if i can move up at ikea i'll move up make it you know be a team lead i think people a lot of people leave that place from what i heard so i could just get promoted you know get paid a little bit more money and then continue doing my youtube and my deliveries and then once i once i like 
have maybe like half a million dollars, then we'll go from there. We'll go from there. How about that? Now, with that being said, I'm sweating. The sun is here. Thank you guys for watching till the end. This may be a long video. I apologize, but I just wanted to give you guys the news. And I'm going to give you guys another set of news on the next video. But if you made it to the end of this journey, though, my little bit humans, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button below the YouTube button. And if you like this video and you want to watch videos with me doing deliveries and everything else delivery related, just subscribe to my people. My people, have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good career. Stay hustling out there. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. It's your boy, Joey. Let's go.